Hello ladies and gentlemen, I am the Omni Viewer, and I am here to do yet another rumor control to let you know that despite what you might have seen floating around on the internet, we still don't know who's composing the soundtrack for Godzilla vs. Kong. There have been different things that have popped up and subsequently fallen to the wayside for a while now. People saying, oh, this is the guy they're looking at, or this is who's in talks, or it was just confirmed, only for it to turn out that there's no evidence to support any of that. I generally haven't been reporting on those things because when you've been in this game long enough, you get to know and easily recognize when something is a rumor. And all of these have been rumors. But People are just so desperate, I think, for any sort of news on this movie, like I've said in the past, that certain things will get blown out of proportion for just long enough that some people might actually wind up believing them. And trust me, I get it. There has been a very quiet atmosphere around this movie, which is kind of unusual, I admit. I don't necessarily think it's a reason to worry, but it is strange that there's just so little being said about it. But all the same, we keep seeing this stuff pop up. Most recently, in fact, a now-deleted tweet, unfortunately I wasn't able to catch it before it was taken down, got people thinking that Rob Zombie would be the composer. Based on what I was told, what happened was, on Rob Zombie's Twitter, a tweet went out that said he was looking forward to Godzilla vs. Kong. People saw that and thought, well, why would he say that? I mean, it can't just be that he's a fan of old sci-fi movies and probably likes Godzilla, and therefore he's looking forward to this rematch that's been several decades in the making. No, this guy is both a filmmaker and a musician, so maybe that must mean he's involved. Aha! Rob Zombie must be doing the soundtrack. And it exploded... well, no, I shouldn't say exploded. It popped and fizzled for a few seconds, and then it just sort of fell to the wayside again. Now, Rob Zombie, like I said, probably said that because he's looking forward to the movie. Is it possible that he could be involved? Well, if he were involved, I doubt it would be as the composer of the whole score, because he's never done that before. Maybe he might contribute a song to the soundtrack? like a licensed song, either a classic one or a new one, but even that, I don't think there's any evidence to support that this is the case. Most likely, again, I'm going off of what I've heard with this tweet, most likely he's just looking forward to the movie. But, yeah, I saw that and I thought, you know, maybe now's the time to step in and say something, because it's getting absurd. So, at this point in time, we do not know who is composing the score for Godzilla vs. Kong. We don't know if any musicians will be contributing licensed songs to it, or composing new songs to be licensed for the film. We know none of that. We don't know anything. I will say it again, just so it really sinks in. We do not know. When we do know, you can bet that the news will be unambiguous, just like with any other part of this whole process. But for now, we don't know. At the moment, at least. Hopefully we get something soon. Apparently, there is an upcoming panel at an upcoming convention where Warner Brothers is going to be discussing their upcoming releases, and there is... A thought going around that maybe, maybe, we'll get something new for Godzilla vs. Kong. But we don't know that either. Hopefully we get something there. Hopefully that comes with not just a trailer, but with all sorts of different news items. But until it happens, and until we know for certain that it is happening, well, we're basically still where we've always been just sort of sitting here waiting for something to happen. I just wanted to let you guys know, if you see a rumor going around as to who the composer is, check your sources before you buy it. So, that's your PSA for the day.
Until such time as we meet again, this is the Omni Viewer signing off. Now let's just see what else there is. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to like it as well as subscribe to the channel for more content of a similar nature. Also, check the description for links to our Twitter, DeviantArt, and Patreon pages, as well as the Amazon link for the novel Operation Red Dragon The Daikaiju Wars Part 1, penned by yours truly. Thank you all, and we appreciate your support.